Hey guys, Fresh here with ESG. Not really something that I wanted to have to record content for, but ESG will not be returning to Call of Duty Challengers this season, at least in the beginning. Maybe somewhere along the lines we will. It's not a lack of funding. It's not a lack of money. It's just not being able to justify the lack of return from what we're putting into it. You know, to do it right and send guys and full fund things and send media people and do all that, it's just too expensive. You know, potential salaries, you know, the, the ecosystem has created and it's not the players' faults. I mean, maybe it can be justified as it is, but you know, the players are fighting for their lives in challengers to try to pay for things, to try to live, those that have to pay rent, those that have to do other things. And there's no return because with the prize pool money, players only expect to give up 15 to 20%. Okay, I'm not gonna argue that, I get it. But from a business standpoint, it's kind of foolish not to take more, especially if you're going to offer a salary. Like it's crazy to me that CDL orgs have to pay a league minimum of $55,000 and then only take 15% of the prize pool. That ecosystem is broken because there's not enough return elsewhere, right? And there's not even enough prize pool money. So maybe I'm missing something there, but at the same time, at least in challengers, we don't really have the avenue to pick up these big sponsors like a CDL organization does because that brand is getting in front of millions of people throughout the year. So being a challenger org doesn't really make sense. And let's talk about the lack of support from the league from or to the challenger organizations. I can't even get a media pass. I can't even get somebody to answer me most of the time, right? And even when I do, they still get kicked out of certain areas. You know, we don't even, I don't even have a direct line to anybody. The league does not care. If it wasn't for people like Shift and Proper and Rotation Ant and Crone and other people who are supporting it and tweeting about it, there would be no coverage. Iron Blood Gaming won Challenger Champs two years ago and didn't even get a tweet. They didn't get anything. They got medals that came months and months later, right? It's, it's not, it's no longer fair and the league has to be held accountable. And, and it's, it's, it's really sad because this game, I love watching Call of Duty and I want to have a team, but I can no longer justify it. So until something changes or I don't know, Maybe there's more support and more money. Last year, they put more events, less money. It doesn't make sense. Start crowdfunding, start doing something. But we talk and we speak on it and it falls on deaf ears every single year. So ESG is going to pull out of challengers. Where the future of this is going, I'm not really sure. You know, we might be back at some point. You know, we got some other stuff coming out and you'll see that. But, you know, it's truly unfortunate. We will continue to focus on the U18 players because that's a passion of mine. But, you know, it's unfortunate that we won't be back for challengers. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching this. I appreciate the support. I promise you there's going to be more stuff coming out. Um, we will show value to the team. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.